Yo, can I just ask everybody a question? What would happen if you didn't quit? Right, just one time, like what would happen in your life if you didn't quit for once, if you just stuck through with something in your life? And the reason I'm asking this question is because I just went through my old email and I found an old trading video of me in 2016 and 2017 grinding. And to this day, six years later, seven years later, I still trade the same way. I didn't quit at all. And you guys see me now, you guys see my life now and all of a sudden you're just like, well, I want to get there and I want to get there. How do you think I got here? It's been seven, eight, nine years of me working. The video that I just found was six, seven years ago, but I've been working since 2014 to get to where I am now. I see some comments in my YouTube like videos sometimes of some people saying like new people who don't really know who I am. Oh, this guy's rich. He grew up with a silver spoon in his mouth and his family was rich. It's easy for him to talk. What are you talking about, bro? I was homeless twice. I barely had money to afford, you know, not even barely. I didn't have any money to afford the private high school I went to. Luckily, a mentor I had, I afforded a scholarship and a mentor paid for it. Not a mentor I knew, it was like some anonymous mentor at the time. And then I ended up meeting him, we ended up having a good relationship. But the point I'm trying to make is, I was always in the trenches. And when I made that video of me trading, I was in the trenches, a 700 square foot apartment two bedrooms. My bedroom was the absolute smallest. I barely had anything to my name in 2014, 2015 when I dropped out of college. And then in 2016 and 2017, I started finding my groove in the market. Started making 2,000 and 3,000 and 5,000 and 4,000. Yeah, I was still breaking even here and there, of course, and having some losses, we all do. But the point I'm trying to make is I was grinding and I didn't quit. And now six, seven years later, it's like, it's a crazy feeling for me to go back and watch that video and see how I was trading back then, to understand I still trade the same way now, and all I did was hone in on my craft. All strategies work. It's just the person who's implementing it. Whether it's institutional trading, price action, it doesn't matter what it is. Whoever is behind the screen and whoever is trading, just know the strategy you're trying to implement works it just depends on who you are it may not work for you because your psychology may not be in it you're trying to get rich tomorrow you don't really care about this market you just think it's a get rich quick scheme you're not putting the time and the effort like i said back to myself i was in the trenches and then you guys see my life now six seven years later and of course i still trade the same but the most important part is back then i had a vision i had a goal i was babysitting i did not care how long it would take me to get to where i wanted to get to now i just knew i had a vision and this was the one thing that's going to bring me out and a lot of you guys understand that this can be the one thing that brings you out but you guys are thinking like if i don't do it in a year or two years i'm quitting or it's a scam or the teacher that i learned from don't really know what he's doing you guys will blame everybody but yourself I took eight, nine different courses from the six people who I didn't really learn from. I didn't really take too much information from. I never called them a scam. Not one time. All I said is their strategies don't work for me, but more power to them because it works for them. And guess what? I finally had my aha moment. I finally had my breakout season. And guess what? Six, seven years later, you guys see me now. Private jets, beautiful wife, beautiful daughter, courtside at NBA games. My mom's retired. My brother's retired. College debt is all paid off from all my family. And that came because I took the time in this market. I took the time to understand business. I took the time to understand people. I took the time to understand myself. I took the time to understand trading. And I didn't give myself a time limit. And the reason I'm so passionate right now is because a lot of you guys don't think I was just in your position a few years ago. You guys think I was just, this was just easy to me. Like I wasn't just in your position buying courses, buying signals, you know, being in telegram chats, reading free information, reading books, I was doing the same thing you're doing. The difference with me and the difference with the one percenters in comparison to y'all is some of y'all quit. And for those who's watching this video who are on your last leg in this market, I'm telling you right now, try to find some energy and understand you don't need a last leg in this market. Don't, you shouldn't care if this, if, if you're 39, 29, or 19, it does not matter. Just imagine if you didn't quit. If you looked at this market as if like, you would look at your son or your daughter, like, yeah, like it's gonna be hard to raise my kid, as it's hard to raise any kid, but like, I love it, right? Like, 
my kid has the potential, or not the potential, my kid is like one of the happiest things, if not the happiest thing in my life. I'm not talking about myself, because obviously Laura is, but I'm talking about people in general. But you guys, look at it as that, as like, I'm gonna give it, I'm not gonna give it a time limit. Like, when it comes to my kids learning how to fall, we hear from Jim Rohn and all the motivational speakers in the world. You don't give your kids a time limit on when they can walk, when they're crawling and they stand up and they try to walk, and they fall, and they fall, and they fall on their face 30 different times. Eventually, they end up standing and walking tall without falling at all. You let them go until they figure it out. And I need you guys to do the same thing. If not, guess what? You're not hurting me. You're hurting yourself. I'm good. I'm lit. I'm debt free. My family's retired. I can take a private jet. Nah, I can't. I am going to take a private jet to Los Angeles with my wife and my family and my mother and my chef and my night nurse and my brother and my videographer all to LA next week because I took the time in this market. <sighs> I need to breathe because I'm ranting. And I just want you guys to understand that I was in the exact same position you guys were years ago. The difference is I didn't quit. And just imagine if you didn't quit something for once in your life. Quit smoking, quit everything else, quit fast food, quit TV. Don't quit this market. Don't quit on the gym, don't quit on your health, don't quit on your love life. And just lock in for 365 days. Like fully, fully locked in. Get fed up with your situation. Get fed up, like fed up if you're working at your job. Fed up like I was uh, being on TV when I hated TV so much. I was so fed up. Get fed up. Put the work in. Double the efforts and come back in this video and talk to me 365 days from now and let me know your progress. I guarantee you have some improvement. Don't quit. I'll holler at you guys.